Hey there, good morning. Welcome to KHC Singles Devotional. Today is the 28th day of January. And our topic for today is how singles can learn from the life of Joseph. Genesis chapter 45 verse 4 to 8 says, And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom ye sold into Egypt. Verse 5, Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that ye sold me hither. For God did send me before you to preserve life. Verse 6, For these two years had the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in which there shall neither be hearing nor harvest. Verse 7, And God sent me before you to preserve your posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Verse 8, So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God, and he had made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of his entire house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. We all know the story of Joseph, and I would like to bring out some salient truth by the Spirit of God as it relates to relationships and marriages. What God did in the life of Joseph is what you could call a crazy miracle. God did not just make him an important man in Egypt, a strange land. He actually became a father unto Pharaoh. It is like God making you a father unto the king of Dubai. It is as crazy as that too. How did Joseph get there? What kind of person is he? There are a few things to learn. Number one, Joseph was a dreamer. Never stop dreaming about your life and future. After his first dream, the scripture says that he dreamt yet another dream. Don't stop visualizing where you want God to take you to or where he has shown you that he's taking you to. Keep hope alive. It is not out of place to visualize and pray about the kind of relationship, marriage, and home you would like to have. Don't let the experiences of relatives and your environment suffocate or kill your dream. That nobody has enjoyed his marriage in your family does not mean that would be your experience. No. Joseph talked about his dream. Well, some people would say he was careless and that if he had hidden his dream, he would not have gone through the ordeals of the pit and then been sold into slavery. However, I also want you to know that if he had not verbalized his dream, he might not have been sold into slavery and he might not have been transported into Egypt from where he eventually fulfilled his destiny. Talk about God using perceived enemies to fulfill his counsel over your life. Hear me well this morning. God is using some of the people you hate right now and you think don't like you to achieve his overall plans over your life. At the end, you will see how everything will eventually add up. Before you fight the person that jilted you, why don't you wait for the unveiling of the new person God is bringing your way? You will thank him or her later for breaking your heart. Learn to talk faith and not doubt. Learn to say what you want God to do and not what you are going through in your relationship or marriage. It is a spiritual principle. Say what you would like to happen and not just what has happened or what is happening. Number three, Joseph refused to sin. This is a major one. He was offered free sex, but he ran away. He refused to get bitter on God because of his experiences and did not allow depression and conflicting emotions to push him into the clutches of available compromise with Potiphar's wife. Genesis chapter 39, verse 7 to 12, the message translation says, As time went on, his master's wife became infatuated with Joseph, and one day said, Sleep with me. Verse 8, he wouldn't do it, he said to his master's wife. Look with me here. My master doesn't give a second thought to anything that goes on here. He puts me in charge of everything he owns. Verse 9, he treats me as equal. The only thing he hasn't turned over to me is you. You are his wife, after all. How could I violate his trust and sin against God? Verse 10, she pestered him day after day after day. But he stood his ground. He refused to go to bed with her. Verse 11. On one of these days, he came to the house to do his work. And none of the household servants happened to be there. Verse 12. She grabbed him by his cloak, saying, Sleep with me. He left his coat in her hand and ran out of the house. Joseph said, I cannot sin against God. He had the fear of God. This is one of the reasons he became the greatest in Egypt. From prison to a ruler. You see? Righteousness exalts. Never allow the devil to tell you that you are missing out because you are a child of God. Never envy those who don't have a relationship with God. David made that mistake too. 
and he envied unbelievers. But he said, when he got into God's presence, then he understood their ends. Joseph ran away. This is what you do in the face of sexual compromise. That is not the time to start speaking in tongues when he or she has removed his or her clothes. Run away. Flee. That is why God created legs for you. Don't come around and say somebody seduces you. Run. Five minutes before compromise, you will always know what is about to happen. Don't wait there trying to see what will happen when all the angels have already fled so that their eyes will not be holding you. What else will happen between a guy and a lady alone in the room with no light and no candles around 9 p.m.? Run. That is how to preserve your destiny. Run. That is how to fulfill your destiny. Run. Pack out of the house. You are not yet married. Run away. Because your destiny is greater than the compromise you are entangled with. Free yourself by God's spirit and run. Take a cue from Joseph. But if I leave him, he won't give me money again. If I leave him, he won't pay my school fees again. And so on and so forth. That was also the place Joseph found himself. He ran away and then seemed to land in the prison. But God did not leave him. And that is the important thing. Righteousness will eventually exalt you and give you a better platform than exchanging your body for some paltry songs. I will stop here this morning and we will conclude on what we can learn from the life of Joseph tomorrow. Meditation for the day. Genesis chapter 39 verse 2 says, And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Prayer for the day. Number one, Oh God, give me the strength to say no. Number two, Help me to keep dreaming. Number three, I reject the oppressions of the devil over my relationships. Confession for the day. I am a dreamer. I will not stop dreaming. I pursue my dreams. I will not be distracted by negative circumstances. I will not compromise. I will not be smarter than God. I will flee all appearances of evil. I will not envy unbelievers. I trust God wholeheartedly. God will be with me all through this year. Action plan for the day. Study the life of Joseph. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international videos, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandos.com slash video. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandobs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Transit Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.